Hi, um, again I'm going to show you how to do your keyword research using um, Keyword Snooper and Google Keyword Planner. Okay, this time we're going to do things a bit differently. Um, okay, let me start with selecting only one keyword suggestion source. Now, for this project I can choose YouTube. So obviously we're going to find only maybe 100 to 200 or so long tail keywords since we are choosing YouTube only however all these um, long, long tail keywords that we find are going to be actual keywords that people are looking for and searching for on YouTube so let me start by adding my new project okay I'm going to start with games and you can see the project on the left hand side Okay, I'm going to run my project and it's going to harvest maybe 100, 200 or so long tail keywords. Okay, what we are left with is uh, 266 and I'm going to quickly filter them just to make sure that all these long tail keywords contain the keyword games and I'm going to remove one or two of them like this GameStop and GameSpot okay so I'm going to keep everything that contains the keyword games okay once this is done I can take a quick look at my list and then I can even check the Google Trends for some of them okay now let's take a look at this okay games Android uh, this should be a good one and I believe it should trend quite well okay so I'm going to double click there and you can see Google Trends it's uh, rising so it's a good one good keyword well obviously we still have to look at the number of monthly searches that it generates and competition level before we decide if we want to target um, this keyword or not. Okay, let me add this one as project. So I'm going to add a new project the Games for Android and I'm going to run the project. Well, obviously these are super long tail keywords So I'm going to find I don't know maybe 100 to maybe less and After that I'm going to put the two lists together so I have two projects, games for Android and games. I'm going to put the two lists together and I'm going to remove the duplicate keywords and then I'm going to see what is left. After I have my list the way I want it, I'm going to export it to Google Keyword Planner and I'm going to get my monthly, average monthly searches and competition level. Okay, so I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to export. Okay, I have already done that. So you can see I have exported my list to Google Keyword Planner and imported um, the new file to the um, special folder in Keyword Snooper. Now once I have the file in Keyword Snooper, I can check the average uh, monthly competition uh, searches and competition and I can apply my filters as well to find keywords that um, I want to target now if you take a look without applying any filters you can see that games uh, has um, okay this is medium competition and very good amount of uh, average monthly searches however um, this is going to be one extremely difficult uh, keyword to, ta uh, to target since you're going to compete against some some uh, well-established websites so now this keyword here looks quite interesting games for girls now let me quickly examine um, Google Trends okay it's not ideal uh, but it's still a pretty decent trend um, there is a bit of downwards slope here but um, it should be quite interesting okay so I'm going to add this one as project and I'm just going to see what I come up with so I'm going to add games for girls I'm going to run my project okay this is done in a keyword snooper okay and now I'm going to select several more 
sources so I can come up with uh, just a few hundred long tail keywords, basically as many as possible. And once I have them, I'm going to filter them again the, the way I want them. And okay, what I have here is 760 keywords for games for girls. Now, let me again export the file, import it into Google Keyword Planner and export it back to Keyword Snooper. And now you can see that the average monthly searches are quite decent. Competition level, it's not so bad either. You can actually see that <clears throat> the top keyword, Games for Girls, has a competition level of uh, 0.14. Okay, let me apply a filter here. Average monthly searches um, 2000 and more and competition level between 0 and 0 0.3. This is uh, low competition and pretty decent monthly searches. And I'm left here with, I don't know, about 20 or so long tail keywords, which could be extremely profitable. Well, the whole process shows you how important it is to, to analyze your keywords. I started with my main keyword, games, and then I examined games for Android, and finally I discovered games for girls, which is uh, most likely the best choice right now, since it um, has very good average monthly searches and very low competition. So if you want to build a new website or create a handful of YouTube videos, you can uh, pick any of these 20 or so long tail keywords and use them.